It'll be one to go this time, bye. Coming to the green, buddy, coming to the green. Let's go get him. Go, 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 take, 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 go, 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 go. I don't know why I, I've run so well here. Um, both races we've done really well. Um, I just try to drive the race car. I don't do anything but just rely on my instincts and uh, try and drive around the track as fast as I can. I love Bristol. I just love NASCAR. It's just the best form of racing I've ever experienced. And j Just a wonderful night for me. It's my first year in the Cup Series and to, to be racing with Mark and his thousandth start and, and racing with Kyle Busch, uh, who will probably go down in history as one of the best of all time. Um, I just feel privileged to be out there and, and running with them and uh, it's a great day, great day for me, great night uh, for my sponsors. Um, just really thrilled. We're a first year team, a first year driver and to be uh, running up there on a wild Saturday night like we had tonight uh, is pretty special. You know, that was incredible what the fans did here tonight. In my opinion, a thousand starts ain't no big deal. But what they did made me cry. So um, it's pretty cool. I uh, almost get emotional thinking about it again. I love the sport as much as they do. I'm so grateful to have a chance to do what I did tonight, which is drive a really fast race car and finish where it was running. Uh, we've had so much trouble this year not finishing like we ran, and uh, it was cool. Uh, you know, yeah, we ran second, but I bet we had the fans on, on their feet uh, those last few laps. and. Um, you know, that's, uh, that, that's cool. It was nerve wracking, uh, made some adjustments there and we, and it didn't, didn't respond like we thought it, thought it would. So, uh, it's just kind of trying to figure out what, what it was going to take to make the right adjustments to get him to beat the five car in the 48. And, uh, that was, that was the biggest thing is just trying to figure out what he needed to, to get going there. That crowd may be one of the great sporting crowds I've ever been around. 165,000 people. That thing was electric out there before the race and during the race. We really appreciate them. What an honorable race car driver Mark Martin is. I mean, just such, a, such an honor to race with him. And, um, you know, to give him the room that he needed for him to give me the room that I needed was, uh, was awesome. I can't thank him enough. I mean, he... He didn't let me win the race, but um, you know he uh, he certainly didn't take it from us. So, um, man, I, I love those guys on that team. I know how bad Alan wants to win and how bad Mark wants to win, but um, you know tonight we had uh, we had what mattered most when it mattered most. The whole M&M's team did a phenomenal job this weekend. They really worked hard, and you know we tried making the car better in practice and uh, made a lot of changes to it and everything. And uh, you know the Again, the guys made some smart calls there during the race, Steve and, and Chris and everybody. So, um, you know, we worked on it all night. We never gave up on it. We uh, never had the best car, I didn't feel like. We just kept plugging away at it, making some adjustments, trying to make the car faster, trying to make it uh, better in the short run, better in the long run, and where it was capable enough of keeping up with the five in general, man. I mean, that thing was just uh, flawless tonight. That thing was so fast. There's a gaggle of nine guys that are trying to fight this battle to get in the chase. And so um, tonight it didn't look like the 83 had a good night. And I don't, I don't know who else, but I was trying to pay somewhat of attention. But um, the 47 ran good. He's further behind us. But, you know, the 39 was decent there. But um, it's so hard to figure out all the time because it's like, okay, well, we're going to chase the 17 and 16 this week. Well, they run good. But let's just say the 42 and, and the 39 run poorly. Okay, so now we're chasing the 39 and the 42, but then the next week they run good again. And the 17 and the 16, they, they run poorly again. You know, So it's back and forth. It's not just a gaggle of guys that you're chasing. You're almost just chasing a point total. This is NASCAR Newscast. Kyle Busch held off Mark Martin in a fierce battle over the closing laps to win Saturday night Sharpie 500 at Bristol Motor Speedway. Bush took the lead on lap 433 and stayed in front the rest of the way to score his fourth victory of the NASCAR Spring Cup Series season 
and a sweep of both races at Bristol in 2009. Martin has one last shot. He looks inside in turn three. As they exit turn four, it's not going to happen. Kyle Busch will win the Sharpie 500 with Mark Martin right on his back bumper at the finish line. Coming home in third, Marcus Ambrose rallies to take the third spot. Greg Biffle will finish fourth, Denny Hamlin fifth. They set up a tight battle between myself and Mark Martin, who is the you know, the best car all night, but uh, man, what what an honorable race car driver Mark Martin is. I mean, just such a such an honor to race with him, and um, you know, to give him the room that he needed for him to give me the room that I needed was uh, was awesome. The win was Bush's sixth career at Bristol in one of NASCAR's top three divisions, and came after his trip to Victory Lane in Wednesday night's Camping World Truck Series race at the track. Martin tried his best to work around Bush for the lead in the final four lap sprint to the checkered flag but was forced to settle for the runner-up spot. Kyle gave me all the room in the world. And it's a good thing because I was over my head when I went in that corner and I got loose. And if he'd have been crowding me, we both would have went up to the wall. So I'm really grateful for that. But he raced me uh, like a good sport. And uh, when he's behind me, I will be comfortable that he will race me the same way that I raced him. The win was big for Bush in his hopes to make this year's chase for the Spring Cup Championship field as he moved up two spots in the standings and trails Matt Kenseth by only 34 points for the 12th and final transfer spot. The Spring Cup Series returns to action September 6th at Atlanta Motor Speedway. This is NASCAR Newscast.